The outbreak of COVID-19 has impacted cancer control globally and the Cancer Association of Namibia was not spared by the impact. For the current year, we do anticipate a double deficit on what we have experienced in the last financial year. This means that 50% of our budget has been cut. This means that our operational budget, patient financial assistance budget, national outreach budget, support services budget, they've all been cut by 50, 54% to be exact. But we remain hopeful because when it went well, we invested, we saved. Survivor Marta Angolo shared her journey to recovery after she was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2014. I started vomiting, experienced nausea, and all those side effects of chemo. I lost my hair. Yeah, my nails changed, become brownish in my hands and my, inside my feet. So after chemo, I went for mastectomy, they removed my breast completely, and then after mastectomy, I, uh, they discharged me, going home with the drain. Unfortunately, the drain got blocked. So I ended up having again a uh, swollen, because uh, the liquid which is inside, they have to take it out with the needle, so I went through a lot. Another survivor, 17-year-old Linda Hadupopi, was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2019. I recovered in September, and from September I went like to follow-ups, to see the doctors, to see if anything, um, if anything was wrong with me. And then I was like saying, no, there's nothing really wrong. There's, we just like... Yeah. December, I didn't see the doctor. In January, the x-ray, couldn't see anything. Yeah. And all I want to say is never give up. Even there are some challenges, like there are some things that will bring you down, but don't give up. World Cancer Day theme is I am and I will, an empowering call for personal commitment that represents the power of the actions taken to reduce the growing impact of cancer. Evelyn Polis, NBC News, Venduk.